Hey, you corny sods. Uh, where do I begin? Uh, well, I start as I mean to go on, as they say. Uh, we have done something um, unheard of. <laughs> and what I mean by that is we have officially, as I said in uh, previous um, previous videos, we have got the Agpanzer E100, we have the Big Booker. Uh, that's what I'm naming her. I'm naming her after a after my girlfriend's pug, Bukara Bswezi. Uh, and uh, just like that pug, she's slow, she's fat, she's wide, and she's deadly. Uh, we have the Mastery Badge in the tank already. We got it on our fifth game. Uh, so, yeah, that was fun. And um, so now we've got to decide what tech tree we want to go down next now since how we've got both a medium a heavy and a tank destroyer in both the americans and the germans it's only right that we literally bring up this tech tree and take a look at where we're going next um now and i do and i don't want to go down the soviet tech tree so let me explain something to you I am not a huge fan of Soviet tanks. Never have been, never will be. Both from personal combat experience, battling T T62s, T62As, T50s, T55As, T72s and T72As. Um, and so, yeah, T60 series tanks just, they're, they're, they're fun to watch the turrets go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and I know right now they're doing an on track to the object 140 I like my medium tanks as you guys know but Soviet tanks are not it French tanks are definitely not it as you can see I, I have no want to go down the French tech tree line I'm not a fan of auto loaders and I'm definitely not a fan of the wheeled vehicles. A lot of people are saying you're missing out. I don't think I am. So Soviets are a no, French are a no. Now let's take a look at the English tech tree. Yes, I am technically on a personal mission to get on track to getting the FE 405, 4005. Uh, we, are, we, do, we are currently at the Conway and we currently have, I think it's two? Yeah, two out of the 12 blueprints for the stage two. two. So it's not like I'm not getting it done, slowly chipped away, I am. Um, and we are currently at the Centurion one, uh, maxed out, or just getting the grind done to get into the Centurion seven one. So I could do an on grind, a personal on grind in the British tech tree and either decide to just get the Death Star We'll get the Centurion Action 10. I don't know yet. On the Czechoslovakian tech tree, we are at tier 6. And I'm torn between going down the heavy tanks or the medium tanks. Uh, so, you know, nine, the, the T, T34-100 is just a T34-85 with a bigger gun. So it's got a longer reload. I mean, it starts off with the 85mm gun. And it ends up with the 100mm gun... That, 250 pen at, at, at tier 8 is good, but it's not good enough to take on some of the more relevant tier 10s that you will see. Again, tier 7s and 8s is the struggle bus for most tier, for most nations, regardless of what they are. In the Japanese tech tree, I... I stopped at the Chi Ri because, as I said, 7 and 8 are the struggle bus for most tech trees. The OI is the fun tank in the Japanese tech tree because it's just the derp gun, the derp gun. And so, I don't think Japan's the way to go. Yeah, ironically, in War Thunder, Japan was the first nation that I maxed out. Jets, everything, before they added helicopters and everything else and whatnot. Um, then we've got China. China is definitely something I've been working on on the back end. Um, but it's not something I'm desperately in the need to, to, to do. So, And again, they're just 
copy pastas of uh, other nations tech tree tanks so not really so then Poland now the Polish tech tree I am currently up to the 53 TP which is as you know tier 8 problem is its stock 105 gun is cancer I owned this tank for about three battles and then said nope and sold it <laughs> Yes, the 50 TP, the tier 9, I can get for free. Um, and I think I will have fun in the tank. I know it struggles with de gun depression. I believe it's gun depression. Um, let's see. Yeah, neg only 8 degrees of gun depression. Yeah, like I said, it's it's going to have a hard time trying to work a ridge line. So Polish tech tree is up there, but it's not the one... I'm, I want to focus on, nor's the Swedish. Again, the Swedish have a lot of um, auto loaders like the Leo, the, uh, the Emil 1, the Emil 2, and the Kramvark. Those are the three tanks that, uh, if anything, I will probably get for Clan Wars. Um, as you guys know, those are predominantly used in Clan Wars, even though that the fact that they have been nerfed. In Italy, well, we are currently at tier 7 and we are struggling with the uh, tank destroyers. So, it looks like Poland is the next tech tree. But, and this is a big but, and it cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny. Um, the end, just the, this tank here is, it's tier 6, it'll see tier 8s, the 90mm gun, doesn't even get 200 mil a pen even with premium rounds either either give tier 6 tanks 200 mil of pen on their premium rounds so that they at least stand a chance against tier 8s or make it so that tier 6s don't see tier 8s end of end of that's the only way to balance out tier 6s is what it is and that's what I said so right now it's Poland is in the lead and like I said right now Russia does have a uh, on track to getting the um, T44 and whatnot and I do I can buy the T43 right now it's 30% off um, and I could even get the tracks or the turret it only gets the 85 mil gun though. Ouch, that kind of bites. Okay, so why have I got the upgraded motor if this motor is... That's kind of weird. How... It's, ah, it's for the Su-101. Oh, that actually now makes sense. Hmm. So it looks like we're going down the Soviet tech tree then. There we go. A tech tree I don't want to go down to get an object 140. That, eh. I know a lot of people are like, but you know, you're better off getting going down this tech tree, that tech tree. I think I might actually get the ISU 152 back in hopes I can get the object 704 and then the object 268. Um, but uh, in all honesty, I'm gonna get a 268 version 4 because they're just fun tanks and that's what i want is i want fun so it looks like i'm gonna have to get the su 100 again and uh have some fun uh leveling up this beast of a tank so yeah so it looks like we've got to decide do we get the su 100 or do we get the t43 so hmm Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Do I go to Tank Destroyer route? No, I'm going to have fun. And yet the thing is, if I go to the collector's vehicles in, in the Russian tech tree, I think it's tier 10? There is a... a um, there's a tier 10. Yeah, there it is. The T-62A. 
Uh, what does he get? 100 mil gun. 264, 330 pen. Ah, that's actually not a bad little thing. Four crew. Ah. So when I get to the tier 10, I'm going to get a tier 10 medium anyway, because I'm going to buy this thing. So that made my mind up for me. I'm going down the tank destroyer route. So let's uh, go to the tech tree. You're going to watch me purchase the Su-100. Ta-da! I will purchase it with with an 80% crew. And we will go down there. So that's going to be the start of our new on the grind. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. In fact, do I... Yeah. Let's take a look at some exteriors for it. We'll just throw a real quick one on there. I know I've got a couple of presets. Uh, let's see, what have we got? I want to put one on there that's going to... You know what? Care to scare. Why the hell not? Because it looks ridiculous. And it's on a Soviet tank. Alright, so before we do anything, we're going to have to get the tracks. And so, yeah, I'll get it with free EXP. We'll buy it. We'll buy the engine. go we'll buy the radio nicely done so it gets a 100 mil gun and a 122 dirt gun excellent but we'll buy this 85 mil gun because it's better than the stock one I believe let's double check stock one 160 120 160 144 194 yep there's there you go and then we can start immediately Either we can grind out the guns, and that way we'll have a derp gun if we really want to go, you know, full on derp delicious fun. We can, but let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 17. Come on. One more. Atta boy. Now, everyone keeps going, why do I go with 17 and 7? Again, 17 and 7 are, are some of my lucky numbers. And that's why. <laughs> okay. Repair kit. And automatic fire extinguisher. Again, it gives you a passive 10% chance to reduce your engine catching fire. Okay. So, let's take a look at equipment. All right, cool. We get a rammer. So, that's just saved me some time. Uh, hardening. Hmm. Ooh, optics. Yeep, yeah, we're gonna need optics. At least until we can get this thing. So, uh, turbo? Not a bad idea. Uh, hold traverse? No, 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 what's the aim time on this? <gasps> Ooh, two and a half. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, good lord. Oh, sweet, oh, sweet baby Jesus. You know, no, we'll get that for the suspension durability. For now. Again. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We don't have a hundred percent crew again, so I'm not expecting the world's best performance. But uh, let's uh, let's say we've got our we've got our credit grinder. If we really do need to grind out credits, and so uh, let's uh, give it a shot. All right, so we are standing battle on Oyster Bay. Uh, hmm. If we go south, we might not have to tab the two key. I know we will if we go. Uh, uh, uh sorry. If we go north, no two key. Go south, we'll need a two. We'll need to tab the two key. Again, my view range is absolute trash. I do have six cents for free because all, all all crew get six cents for free now. Um, once the crew gets to 100%, I'm going to go with camo till we max it out. Then swap it out for brother in arms. And then next skill again, camo. Always be grinding out camo first. Always going to always grind out camo first. 
Alright. Okay, so there's a stag hound. Okay, that's a British wheel tank. Oh, two stag hounds. Okay, ooh. I've got to be careful. I'm not sure what the overall accuracy is of this gun. Yeah, our arc isn't that that good. And this is why I didn't go with the camo uh, um camo net. Yeah, he's right there. I can't spot him. Stag hounds down to a one sh it's fartable. Again, I've got no view range. This is my problem. It's, this is why I went with these guys, because I need these guys to spot for me. Now, that Type 64 is going to be a royal pain in the butt, so we need to flush him out. Okay, okay, okay. Bro. Okay. Ooh, this tank doesn't get much in the way of gun depression, does it? It can't work a ridge line. Yeah, see, because from here I can't get the gun down. Interesting. Okay, so they got a tiger trying to sneak across. We have a... Oh, good shot. Good shot, VK. Good shot, VK. We're just waiting for one of them to make a mistake. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm lit. Alright, VK. Yag Panzer one. Okay. So we have bounced a few. Lucky, I guess. Mostly luck. I don't know why you're backing off. Okay, we actually have a little bit of horsepower here. Now, that Type 64 is well within my spot range, but because my crew is not 100%. Come on now, lads. You know what? Let's... You would p try and pressure him right now, wouldn't you? Yeah. I've got to get out of this crossfire. Alright. Yeah, I'm lit, I'm lit, I'm lit, I'm lit, I'm lit. There we go. Yep. Not much we can do. Crew's not 100%. But we did what he could. We, we, we literally did what we could. We did what we could. So, you know, I ain't going to grumble at that. I'm not going to grumble at that. not going to grumble at that on to the next one in fact you know what while we're waiting on that let's play a uh, a suo game and yeah let's play a uh, 152k match <clears throat> edit there has been some impropriety 
Okay, guys. Malinovka, tank destroyer. Let's go, Brandon. We got this. <laughs> All right. Not doing 6k damage, so that's not happening. Uh, and I just got to do 15k damage in this. And complete secondary and survive the battles. I just got to do that. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> that I can, well, try to do anyway. So, yeah, brah. Pew, pow, 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 ping, pong, 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 ping, pew. Uh, Russell Cronte is going to take my little spot, isn't he? You dirty Italian. I'm just kidding, brother. Much love. Don't hump the rock. Love the rock. Don't hump. Ah, crap. Air crap, 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 air crap. Okay. Fuck off. Absolutely nothing I could do. And you know what? I'm sorry. ELC Biss, you are going to get an unsportsmanlike conduct for that. Because that's exactly what that is. That's unsportsmanlike. Okay. I'm sorry. But you know what they should do? They should put, like, landmines. There you go. Landmines right through the middle there. Okay, that if any tank, any light tank, tries to rush out in the middle, boom, your tank gets wrecked, dealt with, see ya, you know, what's up guys, welcome back to the grind, well, I can't really call it the grind, max FPS calls it the grind, so we're going to call it the, uh, the, on track, full steam ahead, I'll come up with a jazzy snazzy title here. Anyway, so uh, we are doing the Suet 100 with our end goal being the uh, Object 268 slash 4. That is our end goal. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Here we go. So we are, let's see, we need 42k. We've not even got 10k yet. We're not going to get the other guns, which means we're not going to get crew acceleration, which is going to suck. Um, I have played one game so far, and so we are going to waste all our time fives on this. Uh, if we get a little bit low funds-wise, we will swap out and play some other things. In the meantime, while we are waiting for the tank. All right, so we're not going valley. This thing's way too slow. Plus, they're probably going to rush mid, and we don't have the view range. Um, this thing is basically Mr. Magoo. Uh, Elmer Fudd and Mr. Magoo. Um, I really wish I'd had the gold uh, to just dump into the crew so I can get maximum view range. Then that would be a completely different story. But sadly, uh, I don't. So we are in a tier 7 game. This is a nice even matchmaker. I like this. Tier 7's... Tier 6, Tier 7. See, Wargaming, this is good. This is nice. This is lovely. This this, this is nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is. This is nice. Alright, so there's a... Big center push. Look at this. Aim time, bruv. Watching my shell go flying right over the damn tank. Okay, that hit the M6. What was that kind of deviation there, Wargaming? Like, for real, bruv. What is got... Bruh. My good lord, my gunner is high. 
Got no shot on the suey. I actually feel good knowing that I've been able to get a few shots off. Staghound is in the city. So is a, the Breton Panzer. Panther. VK. Yeah. Unfortunately. I won't have the horsepower to get up here. No. My job is to make sure that they don't flank around the T1 Heavy. Come on. Nice, got a super chaffy here. Firing Hei Chi at me, okay. It's fine. Come on. Get the tracks fixed. Come on, Larry. Larry, Curly, Mo. Come on. There we go. Now, all we've been firing is AP. No need to fire HE or anything. Or uh, uh, APCR or anything just yet. Um, like I said, crew's not exactly 100%. But at the same time, I don't want to get lit. Because that swoo could easily just change my fun from fun to none. Okay, AEC's attacking our Staghound. I don't think I'm going to have shots unless that Staghound backs off. No, no need. Okay, alright. Vroom, vroom. I'm not going to have Artie upstart me by moving forward without me. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. A tank stays in the rear, takes it in the rear. Giggity. Right. So. Let's. There's Suo. One, two, three, four, five. Why? Like, why is the, the aim time on this thing so bad? Yeah. Like I said, he would have ruined. He's ruining my day. That that suo. Stop ruining my day. Stop shooting my friends. Come on. Come on, 152. I can't help. Nice. We got Artie. Let Artie do its job. Let Artie do its job. There you go. So they got a Wolverine and a Hell, uh, Hellcat. Okay, the VK knows what he's doing. I would have... Ooh, Suo needs some help. We bounced one off the Wolverine, not the second. Okay, Wolverine's dead, just the VK left. VK's making a break for it. 
It ain't over till the fat lady sings, my friend. And she is not singing yet. All she's doing is warming up her vocal cords. He's going to try and make a break for our base. So we'll force him to us. Yep, see. G and G. G, we did 1,404 damage, 145 assisting. I don't know how I got the assist. I'm literally blind as Mr. Magoo. Um, aim time's crap. Again, my crew's not even 100%. This is why the tank... I'm not blaming the tank. I'm not blaming the gun. I'm blaming the crew. Again, this is a prime example of why you should always have a good crew in your tank. Always. Work on your crew. All right, so we are going to go second class mastery badge on okay that's kind of weird uh so finally okay we can get the 100 mil gun um do i want to get the 100 mil gun um 250 alpha 175 7.7 .7, uh force yeah that 4.4 dispersion though mm. i mean that way we only need 30k to get the su 101 unlocked and its guns don't carry over. The Sewer 100's guns do not carry over. Um, and that's what I was looking, hopefully looking for. Let's see, do you carry over? So, let's see, the LB1C does not, no, none of the guns carry over now. Huh. Why don't any of the guns carry over? That's, that's quite unheard of in a tech tree line. So, do I want to go the route in... Because I've already got the ISU 152. I got it when it was linked to the KV-2. Um, see, back in the day, the KV-2 tech branch, you could go to the S-51 artillery or the uh, uh, SU 152. And I, I got both, because why the hell not? Um, and then, of course, they chop and change the branch around. But I can still get the tank because I've got it unlocked. And so I don't have to get these guns. Especially the 122 derp gun. Um... Which I'm sorry, but but but, but derp guns are not the way to go anymore. Yeah, they give you that little dopamine drip, but that's about it. Do I want to go with high fire rate, which is what I always tell people to go with? Um, we'll hold off for now. We've still got some more um, upgrades to go. Okay, and our crew's getting up there in skill-wise. We're creeping up to almost something... Uh, what are we at? 80-something percent? 84%. So we're getting 8% from modules and stuff. So that's something. So uh, let's get into another game. to where it was with inflation and the housing market bubbles and the banks falling apart not that long ago uh, and the Fed laying the groundwork for digital currency. Well, at this point, you could bury your head in the sand and pretend everything's going to get better or take advantage of an opportunity to actually protect your wealth. Right, right now, while you still can, write this down, quarteringgold.com uh, and go, you, get, you could get up to $10,000 in free silver from Sean... Okay, we are on Ruinberg. It again is a lovely tier seven matchmaker. So the majority of the heavies are gonna go city. I want to be helpful, but sadly, they have a lot more stronger tank destroyers that I can't really do much against. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go field, help out there where I can, and possibly try and get some side snipes in uh, down this way to help out our heavy heavies so that's the goal that's the plan and remember what mike tyson said it's all good having a plan and all but your plan will fall apart the moment you get punched in the face so the plan could change the plan can change will change okay there's the typical amd uh, uh 178b running up mid 
couple of staghounds, a Hellcat. Trying to get some early spots. An Excalibur. Woo! Someone's being fancy. Little Mr. Fancy Pants. Alright. So, they are trying to push in the middle. Okay, so we've got a KV-85 that needs to be reminded of the Soviet might. I wouldn't do that. There we go. Course, we bounce. Here I was talking good about you know the, the Soviet might and all this fun stuff and whatnot, just for my show to go boink. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get him. With your little cap gun. So we've got a Sue 100. I think he's got the derp gun. No, he's got the 100 mil gun. Oh, okay. Nice. We're setting up a crossfire here. It looks like, yeah, well, it looks like we're... All right, I'm lit. Jackson's in the back. Yeah. Let's get out of his line of fire. Got the staghound. Tin foil top on. Let's return the favor. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Jackson's dead. Just got that Dick and Max left over there. Come on. Come on, guys. He's got no rear support. Oh. Yeah, Biss has got him. Dicker Max doesn't get me. Interesting. I purposely tried to... There we go. Alright, so... Would be nice if we could come around now. 88. I'm going to have to tap the 2 key for the 88. Let's come around. Let's go. Whoa. You little sneaky French bastard. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Not too shabby. We had some fun on this map. Again, can't blame the tank. It's the crew. You've got to have a good crew, guys. You have to have a good crew. I cannot stress that enough. You need a good crew. If your crew is junk, you're going to get junk performance. Okay? I cannot stress that enough. And, and, and I'm telling you, as a veteran of this game, get a good crew. Okay? So I'm not blaming my losses on the tank. I am not. I am blaming the losses on the fact that my crew... Is just not a hundred percent yet but they will get there they will get there all right so while we're waiting on them to get back I'm gonna hit a roulette so you get a bonus match guys you get a bonus match Ooh, my Yagi Panther too I've not taken her out in a while how you doing girlfriend mm-hmm you good good yeah let's let's throw an automatic fire extinguisher in there over the, over the oil there we go. Let's go, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Do not my Yag Panzer, Panther 2. This thing can slap hard when you get to the sides and rear of a light tank, medium, even sometimes a, a good heavy, you know? K-85 
Okay, tier 10, live oaks. Ain't going to complain. Work the problem. Okay, so. They don't have any... They've got a T-30, a baby Death Star. They don't have a true... If you know what I mean. Um, we have more mediums. They have more... No, we've got... Three heavies, three heavies. Okay, 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 okay. It's an even Stevens. But they do have one of those dreaded dun 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 auto loader tank destroyers. So, what I am going to do is help the guys push bridge. Let's go, lads. Boys, lads, lads, boys, boys, lads, lads, boys, boys, lads, lads, boys. Let's do this. Uh, I even have an actual 3D model. Uh, I, I, I printed it off from my uh, bolt action army of a Yag Panther 2. <laughs> uh, of course, I modified mine, gave it a different commander's cupola and stuff. You know, the cupola it actually had. Um, well, one of the field modified Jag Panther twos, um, where it had like a Panzer three um, commander's cupola. It looked ridiculously fucking hilarious. Ha, hilarious! All right, gonna keep an eye on the corner over here because that's usually where. Okay, 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 okay. Peugeot 65. Alright, okay. What's up, my dude? What's up, my Italian meatball? Mamma mia. It's me, Mario. Alright, so we're going to whack up some intuition because we're going to need it against that guy. Alright, our heavies have gone Humphrey Dus McDurpington the third into the town. Alright, Artie's doing what it, Artie does. Alright. Where's okay? So the Barasks not doing much. Okay, so I'm gonna go with these guys. Okay, we got a sent seven one coming up on our left. Nice. Let's do this. Come on, darling. This tank. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, this is what this tank actually made me fall in love with the Aggie E100. I'm not even gonna lie. I literally play this thing like a baby Yag, even though it doesn't have the armor of the Yag, it does have somewhat of a Yag style gun. Um, it doesn't have like the whole slap, give me a thousand of your hit points, but it can go slap, give me 500 of your hit points. So to me, that's like a mini slap, Blah. like a Stewie Griffin slap, <laughs> you know, so yeah. So from now on, I'm calling this tank the baby Stewie. Okay, all right. Alright, okay, okay, alright, alright. Yo, Artie, can we get some support, please? Leo 1 got rid of their T28. That's not the T28 Proto with the turret, so that's not really a. Trying to see if this T30 is. Okay, Vipera's got his side to us. We could punish him real quick. Okay. Ha ha ha! Told ya! Told you you can bounce a shot! <laughs> that T30 is like, what the fuck? Did I just bounce a shot off of a fucking Yag Panther 2? Yep! But the art, you didn't! <laughs> oh no, not my British Centaurian. Feck off! I'm sorry, but Auto Loader Art, he needs to just go from the game. You are an embarrassment. Okay, can we slap him? Boop! You're out the game. Yeah, we're loading regular AP now. Roar! Cobra attack! Alright, so let's just stay here for a minute. Alright. Uh, where'd that go? There he is. Uh, hello? Like, can I get that shell back, please? Okay, he's definitely in... Object 704. 
bourrasque. Euh, J'ai ton concours, toi, euh, à la fois. Oh mon dieu. Fais le cadeau qu'on contre. Okay, Brusque's gone. I need to get either shots on this 7 or, you know, I'm going to switch out to my premium ammo. Can you blow up the house? No. Eh, it's worth a shot. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Alright, Leo, 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 Leo. Where you going, Leo? Where you going, Leo? Nice suo, nice suo. Oh, Yagi! <gasps> oh, eh. Alright, so yeah, these two are on full, 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 full defense. Sent, don't, don't, don't risk it. There you go. We've got a Krunitz Panzer back there. There we go. It's a nice little mini slap. Oh, missed. Whizzed over his, whizzed over his head. Alright, so we're going to get down in the dip. I'm going to wait for allies. Again, play smart. I've got allies. There's no point in me rushing in. Coonies is dead. Uh, Wargaming, can I get that sh Can I get that shell back, please? Thank you. Again, let's dip down. Object 704 knows what he's doing. In fact, I'm going to switch out to premium now. I fired a lot of premium this game. I'm going to lose credits, but I don't care. It's a fun game. Again. Get in there. Bull rush that 50 TP. Don't worry about me, guys. Good, 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 good. I'm going to... Got him. So now I'm going to wait. Right, he's fired. Which means he's facing that way. GG, well played. Three kills, not too shabby. Almost 2k damage with spotting that is 2k damage. And we even blocked a T30 shot. Ha! How about that for a bonus game, guys? Oh, we got blueprints for an A44 and a Hotchkiss. Awesome. Uh, we are not going to add a, 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 our time just to that. Kudnitz, we hit him twice. RE, we only hit him once. Progetto, we hit him once. Uh, we even got... See, again, you can see the difference between crew. Crew that aren't 100%, they struggle with reload, they struggle with driving, they struggle with a whole bunch of other stuff. As we're crew that clearly <laughs> are up there have no problem <laughs> so guys like i said always work on your crew all right so anyway guys so one more game and then i'm gonna call it
Okay, we are on. Uh, we are on Redshire. Woot woot. Now, I am not going to do the typical. And we're actually tier six. We can have some fun here. Granted, they got an OI. I don't care, but we can have some fun here. Awesome. Thank you, matchmaker. Mwah. As much as I talk shit about you, I love you right now. Okay, so what we can do is we can go to the castle and then we can try and get some snipes. Okay, so there's the Cromwell. Cromwell, okay, Cromwell's good soft soft target. We can pin him. P pin him. Pen him. Hmm, penetration. Um and so, yeah, he's already taken a slap from our AMX. Nice one. Nice one. Get out there, buddy. Get out there. Don't don't stick around. Don't knife fight with a guy twice your size. He's, he's just going to maul you like a bear. All right? Listen. Listen, Linda. Linda. Listen. Linda. Linda. Don't stick around. All right, so the Cheeto's lit, which means they're going to be pre-aiming over here. All right, so we've got an M7. Trying to crest the ridge... Lighting stuff up with his gun mantlet. Yeah, I just got spotted. Cromwell's gonna pop me. Oh, it was the M7. Okay, 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 okay. Props, props, props. Okay, okay. Alright. Okay, so first kill to them. T34M. It's a T34M. No one cares. Um, I know. Shots fired. Pew pew. Don't care. It's true. It's a T34M. No one cares. Alright, so why do we have. So the Cromwell came in here. Okay, all right. Like I said, my crew is really, really bad. All right, got one on the run. Man on the run. Now yeah, he's trying to set me up for the T seventy eight. Well, that's fine. We can, we can trade. We can trade. We can trade, we can trade, we can trade, we can trade. You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go? Bitch! Rawr. <laughs> Rule of thumb. Always let the idiot make the mistake, okay? Him rocking back and forth like that tells me that he's either trying to burn out his uh, uh, timer on his repair kit. Because I know he used his repair kit because he's a Muppet. And he used his repair kit. So what I'm going to do now is try and come across mid here and get some shots into these heavies. Because our heavies are refusing to engage. Yes, I know there's a Hellcat to my left. That's fine. I got these guys to my back. So, Stug 3's like me. He's like, no, 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 Okay, all right, all right, all right. So they've been timing their their, their, their pushes with the always firing. Smart. Okay, so we've got an Italiano. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Oh, no, no. We've got ourselves an Italiano tank destroyer. Ciao, bella, ciao, bella. Yamana, Yamana. Oh, mamma mia. He went dead. All right, so we're going to come back down here. Out. Who put that rock there? Thank you, Wargaming. Thanks for the force forcible return. No! Leave me alone! 
I like my tank together. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> I have no idea who Derek is, but thank you, Derek. Um, <laughs> all right, so we've won. All right, okay, all right, all right. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Alright, so Hellcat is still in there, but Hellcat is still, yeah, yeah, Hellcat is still there. Hellcat is still there. So what we can try and do is be a Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete. Yeah, we're a one-shot to pretty much anything. Don't care. Again, game's not over to the fat lady sings, and I don't even hear her warming up her vocals. Alright, so our heavies are going to get picked off unless they're smart and turn around. Now, I, am, I again, I've got no view range. None whatsoever. I'm relying on these guys to light targets up for me. So, hopefully, I might be able... to light up artillery, maybe? Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, Wolverine! You wasn't expecting me, was you? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Heavies, break off and flank down the one, two line. Their, T their TDs will rip you apart trying to get to the base please pause please think think for a good minute before you move there is time just relax and think please Again, I was trying to give them the advice. They weren't listening. It is what it is. Anyway, guys. So, that was it. Uh, if we win, great. I will move it on. If not, eh, it is what it is. But we'll find out in the next episode. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed the bonus game. It was fun. And I'll see you in the next one.